Today I'm going to talk to you about the secrets of daily joy and lasting fulfillment. If you want more joy in your life, watch this video. Now this is from the book Happier by Tal Ben-Shahar and we're going to talk about what is happiness, we're going to talk about the different archetypes of happiness and also some happiness rituals. And he, he tells us in his book that attaining lasting happiness requires us to enjoy the journey towards a meaningful destination or something we deem valuable. It's not about just a meaningless goals or unvaluable goals. You have to place value on this goal and we are theological beings. We want to move towards something that we want to achieve. But in this, happiness is not achieved at the peak of the mountain or the peak of the goal. Happiness needs to be achieved in climbing towards the peak. It's enjoying the journey. It's feeling great in the progress. And it's also definitely not climbing aimlessly around a mountain as well. So there's four different types of archetypes. The first one is the rat racer archetype. So this is the person you probably know, you might have been this before, I was. You might know people like this. It's I'll be happy when. They're constantly putting off happiness. So it's I'll be happy when I get that body. I'll be happy when I lose 10 kilos. I'll be happy when I get that job. I'll be happy when I get my business to X revenue. I'll be happy when I have that relationship. We're constantly putting off happiness. And most people who are achievers, before we even achieve that goal, we push it even further. So we'll push it further, we'll push it further, and we actually put off happiness, and we never achieve happiness, which leaves us in this void of unfulfillment, asking ourselves, what's wrong with me? The next one is the hedonism archetype. This is, we go for what gives us pleasure right now. We don't have goals, we don't have long-term planning, we just do what feels good right now. It's somewhat of a meaningless life because we're not moving towards any destination. If it feels like going for a run, we'll go for a run. If you feel like watching Netflix, we'll watch some Netflix. If you feel like you know buying that cake, we'll buy that cake. You're not moving towards any type of goals which uh, takes away your meaning in life. It takes away you being able to truly flourish and get the best out of yourself. The next one is nihilism archetype. So we focus on past failures and we have a fixed mindset as Carol Dweck would talk about. And we don't believe that we were born to be happy. We don't believe that we can progress. We don't believe that we can move forward in a direction. We believe we're born with this fixed traits. We're born with the fact that we've had some failures in our life. We have somewhat of a learned helplessness from our past failures. And we think this is me. This is what I was born for woe is me, and we just sit with it. So we definitely don't want to have that nihilistic archetype. The last one is the happiness archetype. And this is the one we all want to strive for. We realize that it's not an either or scenario. It's not about making it to the peak of the mountain. It's not about climbing around aimlessly. It's about every single day is enjoying the experience of climbing towards that peak. Whether it's every single day you enjoy that moment of meditation, you're doing five minutes and then you're working to seven minutes and nine minutes and you're enjoying that spirituality inside yourself. Whether it's enjoying the peak to that best body of yours and you enjoy every single training session because it makes you feel good on the day. You know that you're moving towards a goal but you love the person you're becoming every day because you're working on yourself. You're becoming better. You have meaning. You have a goal you're working towards and you love the progress. It's actually having a great time doing those sales calls because you know that every single sales call, I'm going to get better. I'm going to recap what went right, what went wrong, what can I do better? And you love progress. You love becoming better at every single task because that's the true expression of yourself. And this is what we actually want to move towards. It's not getting the abs. It's moving on our way, that journey towards the abs and progressing ourselves, that's where happiness is. So with this, I want you to understand that the ultimate currency of your life, you wanna have meaning, you wanna flourish, you wanna have joy right now and fulfillment, or your currency, a business, looks at profits and losses. Your business, you, who you are, you're looking at nothing external, not fame, you're looking at the currency is happiness. How much happiness are you bringing in? How much happiness are you giving out? And this is why we need to have daily rituals every single day that give you happiness. And you need to go, this is my happiness ritual. And the more I do my happiness ritual, the more I'm depositing happiness into the happiness bank account that is my life. There will be people that take, but if you're not depositing in, you will end up going bankrupt. And you'll go, what happened to my life? So you need to make these rituals. You need to create these rituals that give you happiness. So it's just like brushing your teeth. You brush your teeth every single day for oral hygiene. You need to have happiness rituals every single day for your happiness hygiene. So you need to do less of some things, 
So look at the things that don't make you happy and how can you take them away? What are the things that do make you happy? How can you actually do them more often? How you can put them into your schedule? So what are your happiness rituals? You know, you could have gratitude journaling. You could have training as your happiness ritual. It's enjoying that progress. You could have reading, learning, could have sharing. Like for me, I love reading books. I love sharing information. I love helping other people with knowledge as well. I love these four things on this slide. Every single time I do them, I feel happier because of it. So what I do is I make it my daily rituals. They're in my routine. I do them every single day, 365. I learn, I give gratitude, I train, and I share. So I want you to have a think about it. What are your happiness rituals? How can you put them into your day every day, just like brushing your teeth? And how can you follow the happiness archetype and enjoy the journey towards the peak? And that's where you find your true happiness.